Hello and welcome to the next video in the Means.js. We are going to be looking at the CSS frameworks here and what can we do with them. So got the server started. Let's just jump right on in to the code. And so here we are now. I have already opened up the compile folder and I have a, below the compile folder is all the global styles and configs and variables. Uh, let's talk to the compile folder. So every time we start the server up and run it, we will go out of the modules folder and pull out of all the different packages anything with a style format in the middle. So you see how they all have like admin.style or blog.style and it will pull all of them out. And what it will do is it will take into account what type of file they are. So in the case admin, we got a SAS file and we will then uh, render it. And we can take in less, we can take in SAS, we can just take in CSS and our system is smart enough to be able to handle that and move forward with it. We also compile a global style sheet, which comes based off these global configs down here below that we're about to go talk to. But you'll see also as I keep going down, it has all the different style sheets for all the different uh, modules we have, and also has the global. Well, let's get into the global. Let's talk about that, because this is where the CSS frameworks come into play. Each individual uh, file that gets compiled from a module is just kind of in its own entity for itself. You can call on any of those SAS files. You can call uh, any of these configs. You can call the config file and then you can know that basically the EMV or if it has a CDN that we're using this time around or you can call in the different colors and variable styles. You can just do it at import. Uh, but at the global styles, this is what creates our global CSS that uses bootstrap currently at least in the base version but you as a user have the option to change it at any given time so what you can do is you can comment out I'm just going to copy it, comment it out at any given time I'm going to delete this and just comment out bootstrap and you'll see as I scroll back over now all of a sudden the site's not themed anymore and does not look very good at all so what we can do is we can come back over here and change over to something else. Let's say we want to change over to materialize by Google. Save that, run that, and now the site has a global style sheet that's based off materialize. Now granted, this doesn't look very good. It was not designed and themed for materialize, but it works just fine, kind of. It's not really terrible. It just doesn't look as good as it did before. Um, so it's that easy to switch over to materialize. Now, yeah, you will have to go into all of your other uh, You'll have to go in and actually and change some of the uh, variables for materialize of where your actual fonts and stuff live. Or if you want to change fonts, you'll see the server actually got an error because it's looking for fonts that aren't here. Uh, I do believe you would you would probably have to go in and change the location, much like we do in our uh, variables. For variables for bootstrap, we come into the font path for uh, font awesome and the icon path and we override the paths to where we know they are. You will probably have to do the same for uh, materialize. Uh, we haven't done that yet. But at any given time too, you can also switch over to foundation if you want. So let's switch over there and see what that looks like. I don't know if it's going to look any better. Yes, yeah, you know, that looks even worse because we have nothing really styled for foundation. but um, you can see though at any given point we can switch. So if you are an import, or if you're a foundation user, or if you're a materialized user, you can switch at any given time you want to. And it just, it's extremely useful I know for uh, a lot of designers out there who just, you know, they have their preference. They don't want to be stuck with bootstrap. So we give that option that you don't have to be stuck with bootstrap. You can get materialized, you can get foundation. Heck, you can import any SAS you really want to. Uh, you can even down below import you know font awesome like we do you can import anything so this is where we've tried to make it extremely useful for a lot of designers and developers uh, to style and theme their sites based on whatever they want we don't want to hold you back whether you want it compiled or whether you just want CSS uh, so we just want to make it easy and this I hope this helps if anyone has any questions please reach out to us on social media or uh, leave an issue in the framework and we'll talk about it.